people welcome back to the channel you know thanks for tuning in once again and just if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please consider doing so and hit that post notification bell so that you will be notified of all my future uploads now people you see this video it is a continuation of two other videos that i did i did a part one and i did a part two part one was about the reason why i joined the jamaica constable force and the entrance exam and all the interviews that i did in part two i spoke about the medical examination as also the physical examination that i did now what i will do is i will leave the links to those two videos down in the description so you can go ahead and check them out if you haven't seen them as yet so that you will get the whole story in a chronological order right now you see after i did the physical examination whilst i was on my way back home the bus that i was in was stopped by the police because they had a spot check going on and all the passengers had to get off the bus and was subjected to a search now you see at this point <laughs> i started to get really nervous and my heart started racing for a bit because we all know that ratchet knives are illegal and if you are arrested and charged and then you are convicted of that um, offense you will get a criminal record and once you have a criminal record then that is it for you 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 won't be allowed to join the jcf once you have a criminal record and i didn't want to lose my opportunity to join such a noble organization now you see when it was my turn to be searched i indicated to the officer that i had a ratchet knife on me and he said that i should give it to him so i took it out take off the key ring and gave it to him and i let him know that i was coming from the police college and was waiting on a day to go into training so after i gave him the ratchet knife the officer said to me young boy you know ratchet knives are offensive weapons right and me said yes officer i know and he said it is an arrestable offense for being in possession of one but i am going to give you a chance and he took that ratchet knife and he wished me luck in joining the jcf so i got a chance right there and then and tell you the truth i was so grateful because if i wasn't given that chance i wouldn't have this opportunity now to be telling you guys about the process and what to expect at training so you see in life we have to give persons a chance give persons the opportunity to redeem themselves right yeah man because you don't know what they will turn out to be yeah man so that was that and after that I got a call and I was given a date to go by the Jamaica Police College I went there and we were addressed by the chaplain we were all given a document with all the items that we needed to bring along with us um, into training now listen to me you see the first month of training it will be your hardest the first month of training will be the toughest because now you will have to get used to the new environment you will have to get used to the persons around you and you will have to get used to waking up around 4 30 in the mornings and get ready for physical activities so i'm going to say this from now make sure you buy the voltaren for muscle aches and pain you are going to need it trust me the physical will be rough you will be pushed to your limits and you see your muscles they are going to be torn apart and rebuilt so just be mentally prepared for that but after that initial month your body will get so used to the physical activity you will get so used to waking up early in the mornings that it will now feel like nothing much you understand so as i said earlier the physical are um the physical activities early in the mornings and class starts around 8 or 8 30 a.m i am not sure what it is like now but um just around the, just around that time period and pay attention to all the topics that are being taught because you will be tested on every single thing there will be three major exams that you will have to do if you fail any of them you will have to do a reset 
but if you do the reset and you fail you will be sent home you understand you will be sent home the exams are not hard and the pass mark is around 60 percent so if you don't understand something that is being taught don't hesitate to ask the instructor to clarify because it is in your best interest to understand and get a grasp of each of the subject areas good right now you see after those three exams you will have field craft and firearm training to do now you see firearm training it is, it is by far the most anticipated part of training yes man you will be anticipating it as well no um yes the jcf the jcf is a paramilitary organization and you should know that because this is a field that you want to go into so you should have done some research and know this by now so field craft is a military aspect of training here you will learn how to breach homes if it is necessary and you will learn tactical maneuvers and so forth and firearm training you will learn how to properly use a firearm you will learn how to maintain them as also you will learn the proper use of force and we can say this enough pay attention to the use of force policy because it is very very important and will be essential in your day-to-day -day policing duties every single day you draw a firearm you will have to remember this policy so just pay attention and learn the thing the right and proper way and after firearm training you will have drills to do drill exercises so um you see all the physical activities that you have been doing in those early mornings up until this point it will all come into play when you are doing the drills and field craft drills are to prepare you for graduation march you ever saw police graduation and see all the marching and the maneuvers that they are doing well that's what you will have to do and you will have to do it properly because it is your big day to shine and you don't want to mess up the drills so you have to get it down pat you have to get it down to a t yeah man and you just make sure you do it the right way because remember your family your friends your wife your husband your boyfriend your girlfriend will be there watching and them now want to see you as the one who mash up the drill zane don't it yeah man so as me say when you go training school you have um the physical activities to do prepare yourself for that then after physicals in the morning you will have the you will have the classroom the theory part of it this is where you learn how to detect crimes this is where you learn how to prepare case files this is where you learn about public speaking and and so forth so just pay attention and do what you have to do field craft as i said is it is the military aspect of it where you learn um how to breach homes and then you have firearm training firearm and we all know we all know what firearm training you go learn for shoot gun yeah you go learn for shoot gun you go you go learn about the different types of firearms and you go learn how to maintain them how to clean them pull them down put them up back and you will have a little competition who can pull down the firearm and reassemble it the fastest good yeah and then you have drills that prepare you for your graduation march uh, you will be in your white tunic in at graduation that is and yeah that is pretty much it but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section um if you like the video please leave a thumbs up remember to comment and share the video with your friends catch you in my next one until next time manners and enough enough respect blessings